Stock Pulse News Debrief in the mining sector, Allianz Minerals, that's A-N-Z, on the Venture Exchange. As they extend their potential strike length at the Mount Haldane vein system to 3.5 kilometers. The Haldane Silver Project in Kino District, Yukon. I've got with me now the President and CEO, Jason Weber. And we're going to run through this. Uh, Jason, appreciate you taking the time, as always. It looks like some pretty decent news here. I imagine uh, uh, you're pretty happy with, uh, with the results you've got so far. Absolutely. So, as I said to you earlier, the the goal of the the program this year was to to look at the uh, the property more as a whole and look at the areas that hadn't had as much expiration as maybe some of the the um, areas that the old timers had really focused on, say back in the '60s, especially. So that area, the Mount Haldane vein system, our goal was to try to um, expand the strike length of the veins that are known there the potential strike length of those, and maybe see if we could find some additional parallel veins. Uh, we certainly uh, have good evidence now after the soils that we just did that that vein system may continue on for a total of three and a half kilometers now. So we added uh, probably two kilometers to it um, with our work at uh, what we call the Ross Anomaly, which is uh, which is south of the, the main Mount Haldane vein system. And, and the way the faults line up here... Um, you wouldn't, uh, there's about 1.8 kilometers of that anomaly that you wouldn't necessarily see anything on surface. Your pers- your uh, perspective rocks are a bit buried there under a, a cap of less perspective rocks. But the way the faulting sits, it's, it's, we know that those perspective rocks are, are underneath. And they just peek out a bit again right where the Ross anomaly is, and boom, we get a nice soil geochem anomaly. So it really uh, puts the story together now for us that the Ross anomaly is actually part of the Mount Haldane vein system and further corroborated by the fact that uh, the one trench we we tried to, to do at the Ross anomaly, uh, we didn't get down to bedrock. But we got down through four meters of, of overburden and, and took soil samples at the base of the trench. And the numbers, the values that we were getting from those soils were quite a bit higher than what we saw on surface, which just again says we're probably getting closer to the to the a bedrock source for that anomaly which we're hypothesizing is uh, more of those mount haldane vein system veins the the second part that's just as exciting for us is the fact that oh almost three kilometers to the northeast we did two soil lines uh, again straddling the road our access road in uh, that have uh, a nice soil geochem anomaly with it lead uh, it's got uh, silver and and tin with it as well tin's a good pathfinder element for us we don't um we don't see uh, necessarily economic tin in the in the veins but it does occur in uh geochemical levels with the uh the lead and silver so we use that as a bit of a guideline and we got a nice nice anomaly there at uh, what we're calling the bighorn creek anomaly and uh, it's open uh, both ends. There's two lines. Both lines had uh, anomalous soils. Uh, you go to the north on it. You get down into a creek. Um, you go uh, to the south, and um, it continues up the hill towards the Mount Haldane Thrust, which is I'm always most interested in the uh, areas close to that thrust. So as we move closer, uh, I'm pretty excited to see what we get out of there. So. Um, an open-ended anomaly. It uh, again, it's um, three kilometers to the northeast, so or sorry, northwest. So a new potential new zone here. Just you know, looking back to what we were trying to do here, was see if we could identify new vein systems. And this soil geochem would tell us uh, that there's potentially one buried here. The difficulty with this is. Uh, and why the old timers wouldn't have found it if there indeed is a, a vein uh, system sitting there is that um, you, you've got lots of big blocky talus boulders and uh, there's trees and and uh, and um, vegetative cover. They wouldn't have uh, necessarily seen anything in here unless they hiked up that creek itself. Um, you, and if there was a, a showing in the creek, they may have found that, but... Uh, that would be the only evidence here, other than you know, with these uh, the soils we just did. So, so pretty exciting. It, it it tells us just because there's tree cover there doesn't mean that uh, necessarily there's uh, there's no mineralization. The the third area we were sort of interested in. It's it'd be lower priority, but it uh, it still uh, still ranks on the list. Is uh, is off to the 
east in what we call the um, the uh, North Star uh, anomaly. Over there, there's that's a new, not necessarily new, but there's a bunch of uh, spotty geochem in that area and, a, and an old showing, and it looks like that all lines up now with the work we've done. So, again, another area, big blocky talus, it would be tough to find mineralization there, although the fellas did find a bit of alteration and, and um, in their prospecting in that area. So tells us something's going on there. It looks like it's a fairly narrow anomaly, which doesn't really mean a lot at, at this point, but it is uh, definitely worth following up, and it does seem to be related on strike to some mineralization that, that we knew about. So something worth following up, but it's um, the other two probably where we want to focus just because they're both easy to access right on the road, and uh, it'll, it'll make for uh, some uh, very effective exploration for us as we follow up on it. So next steps, raise money, do some more field work. Yeah, it's uh, so we'd like to do. Uh, we'd like to raise some money to come back and refine the targets at uh, at the Ross Mount Holiday and Vein System and the Bighorn Creek, and uh, so we can do some drilling there. And that would be the idea for for uh, 2019 was to to get that drilling done. I am contemplating getting back up there in October just to follow up on some of this stuff, just get a better feel for for what the soils might be telling us. Just a few days a week up there uh, prospecting uh, those areas but it's pretty late in the season so we're probably not going to get much more than that done up there this year uh, but it would be uh, the idea would be get in as early as we can next year to set that uh, set that drill program up jason weber president ceo allianz minerals a and z on the venture hey jason appreciate the update and we'll, we'll certainly look forward to tracking your success in the future no thank you very much